Guys behind Luganus, let's meet him up close and personal. Six thirty, a warm spring morning in Beijing. Birds are chirping, leaves rustle in the light breeze, and silently. A population prepares for the day. It's called Tai Chi, and it has many forms, but only a single goal: to achieve inner calm through balance, literally through the balance of the body, which is thought to mirror the balance of the two elements within the body, the yin and the yang. There is no rush; no one is at all self-conscious. Old and young join in, a symbol, perhaps, of the momentum which a culture of four thousand years and counting can generate. For a 21-year-old diver on a newly born Olympic team, there is another form of the ancient art of concentration and abstraction. Li Hongping studies breath control with his teachers Setao Chu and Hu Chaohua. By mastering this technique, he believes he will be better able to cope with stress and tension, and he knows a thing or two about that. Three times in his career, he has been dismissed from the training squad because of his timidity, a nicer word than fear. Which he admits was really the problem, but he persevered, and under the guidance of a strong coach, was three times asked back. Until at 15, he finally made the national team. He's since grown somewhat philosophical. I think that if life consists of vanities, then it will not be so boring. I just wish to learn more of myself as a person. Li Hongping is studying English like so many other young Chinese. Since the end of the violence and anti-intellectualism of the Cultural Revolution, it's okay now to learn another language. Up-to-date books are hard to come by, but he'd like to be able to communicate in Los Angeles, even if with only a few words. July, August, September, October. So Li Hongping becomes another link in that long chain of the Chinese heritage. His quick smile, his nervous laugh. The eagerness with which he embraces the study of the abstract, he is part of that group which has made science an art, which has brought human dimension to the study of the infinite. He is an acolyte in the temple of the chi, the spirit which dwells within, the resolution of the elements, the mysterious balance of the soul. <laughs>